Monday, December 4th, 2017, Monaco 64, home of alternative economics and contrarian views. So this is an early market update. And I also want to talk about, um, you know, central banking policy of the last 10 years, uh, cryptocurrencies, uh, and uh, uh, the fact that uh, we're starting to see, you know, uh, on the main, in the mainstream media, like this morning on, on LBC Radio, they're talking about Bitcoin and whether the Bank of England should regulate it, <laughs> which is something I, I don't think they can do. They can regulate, uh, uh, you know, the British pound system, but not Bitcoin itself. But before that, let's have a look at, at what's happened overnight. Uh, a strong open for the stock markets uh, overnight in Asia. Uh, the Dow futures uh, is up right now 220 points. It was up uh, almost 250 earlier on. We're at 24,447. S&P is up 16 or 0.6 of a percent at 2657. It's been as high as 2663. And the Nasdaq future is up 30 at 63.66. It's been up as much as 50 points. And uh, a lot uh, of the uh, commentators like Zero Hedge, Bloomberg, they're uh, saying that the reason why this is happening is because the U.S. tax reform bill has been uh, passed or voted uh, to pass in, in the Senate. Uh, the thing is, yeah, maybe that's got has got to do with that and uh, but uh, this seems to be have been priced in to me uh, quite a few times already but uh, you know the stock market just seems to go up these days on you know if there's any little reason for it to go up it goes up if there's a reason for it to go down it, it goes up a little bit <laughs> so uh, the dollar has been a bit of a beneficiary of this it hasn't gone up as much against, for example, the euro. The, the euro is only down uh, a quarter of a percent at 118.68 or down 30. It was down a bit more, the euro earlier, down to 118.35, and the overnight high has been 119. Sterling is down 27 pips or about a quarter of a percent as well at 134.50. Uh, and it has been as high as 135.15. So the yeah, the currencies have rebounded against the dollar. The dollar has done particularly well, though, against the yen, up 72 pips at the moment, up two-thirds of a percent at 112.90. The high's been 113.07 and the low 112.19. I made a video yesterday about the technical picture for precious metals and the dollar. Uh, this move here doesn't change anything, in my opinion. Uh, looking at the um, dollar index chart, it has ticked up a bit. But in my opinion, the, the head and shoulder formation is still uh, forming. Precious metals, not surprisingly, have come off. Uh, gold is traded down to 1271. That's the low overnight. The high has been 1281. Uh, right now we're at 1274. So down about six from the late Friday close. Silver has been down to 1627. We're now at 1633. Down nine cents. So it could be worse. We're still holding the parameters, parameters, technical parameters that I spoke about in my uh, video about you know precious metals and the dollar yesterday in the technical analysis um, you know that I made. What else is going on? Crude oil uh, just trading below fifty-eight dollars. It's down uh, forty cents, fifty-seven ninety-five. That's the WTI, of course. Other uh, markets, uh, we've got the FTSE in the UK up 50 points. Uh, what else? The German uh, DAX is up 134 points or one percent. So, uh, and the bond markets, though uh, yields seem to be creeping up slightly. Uh, U.S. Treasury yields, uh, the 10-year yield is 240 right now. The two-year is 180. So the curve is continuing to uh, flatten. Uh, which means that the longer term yields are not uh, moving up as quickly as the shorter term. And uh, as far as the 10 to 30 year yield uh, spread, that's only now at 39. And I remember I've spoken about the fact that 50 was a really important level. And what that is telling us is that investors feel that 
the long-term uh, health of the U.S. economy doesn't seem to be great. The fact that the 30-year is uh, dropping quicker than, you know, or not going up as quick as the 10-year. Uh, or it could be also to do with what I'm going to talk about now is cryptocurrencies, especially Bitcoin. There's a lot of talk about now that they have they should regulate it. But personally, uh, they I have spoken in the past, you know, for example, depends where you live. But in the UK, if you do sell some of your Bitcoins and you have a lot of uh, capital gains and you do it through uh, an exchange uh, in which you are verified, with that exchange and usually to uh, cash in, you know, thousands and thousands of pounds. For example, bitbargain.co.uk, which I use, you have to verify, uh, you know, send documents, photos, uh, address. So it's already kind of uh, regulated. They already do a, how can I say, vet uh, their clients. You can not, you know, uh, verify yourself, but you only be able to do very small transactions. So, as I said, yeah, they can regulate the uh, the pound system, which is their legal tender system, and you will pay be liable to capital gains tax uh, on your Bitcoin uh, profits or other cryptocurrency profits. But unless, if you keep your uh, Bitcoins and you don't turn it into your local currency, I don't see how they can actually do anything to you uh, and there's a lot of talk you know uh, in the mainstream uh, uh, that uh, you know this is uh, bad that uh, it's used for money laundering for criminals but I would say it's more and I've spoken about this before and I've said this in the last two years that I've run this video um, you know our monetary system you know be it uh, you know, the Federal Reserve System, the Bank of England System, ECB System, or Bank of Japan System is totally uh, rotten. Uh, you know, how can you uh, trust a system that creates, uh, I don't know, maybe 20 trillion of uh, funny money over the last 10 years to save the banks and call it QE and then keep rates uh, zero or negative uh, to financially repress the general public so they don't get any, uh, you know, so they can basically take money from the public to keep the banks going and keep asset prices high. And by asset prices, I mean the stock market, even housing. And I know I've benefited from the housing, but I'm telling it like it is. Uh, and uh, is it any surprise that people will look to different avenues to try to, uh, you know, um, exchange goods and services with whatever they want, be it uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, you know, whatever cryptocurrency you want. I'm not surprised uh, uh, that this has come up, um, you know, and uh, central bankers and politicians, bureaucrats, they never really think of the consequences of their actions. And I think that's what uh, cryptocurrency is, a symptom of the financial repression. Um, that uh, has been occurring and it's going to get worse, I think, because they're, you know, they can't stop this because the fiat money system we've had, we have legal tender where we're forced to, you know, back by government debt unless we keep, keep it going, unless we keep uh, borrowing and spending on, you know, they can't keep it going because the system will implode because the old debt cannot be repaid and the only way to roll that debt over is to issue new debt and that's why they've been printing money that's why they've been doing the qe that's why they've kept rates at zero or even negative which is an abomination in my opinion you know when you lend money to someone you expect to return you don't lend money to a profligate government and expect to pay them to uh, borrow your money and and that's that's what people should be talking about in the mainstream not about Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies being bad. No, people, you know, some people say that cryptocurrencies are fiat money, but le you know, they're technically they're not because fiat means uh, by decree and who can do make decrees that are uh, legally binding uh, by force? It's governments. Uh, cryptocurrencies have, are, have not been made uh, 
you know, currencies by decree by a government. They've just evolved. Am I saying that I think people should rush out and buy Bitcoin at uh, eleven thousand dollars? No. Um, where where's the Bitcoin price going? Uh, you know, one guy that has been right about it is Cliff High. He said uh, last year that Bitcoin was going to thirteen thousand eight hundred by April next year. Uh, so he he's been right on Bitcoin. He's been wrong on other things like silver and gold. Maybe because. That's the other part of the um, repression. Uh, you know, the central banks and the governments in the West, especially, they've kept gold and silver suppressed. So people don't have anywhere to go from this, uh, you know, nefarious fiat money system. So uh, cryptocurrencies have been an escape valve, valve sorry, for a lot of people. Uh, will they be able to keep uh, gold and silver suppressed, the prices? Uh, maybe for a bit longer, but uh, countries like Russia and China and other BRICS nations like uh, uh, Brazil, South Africa and India, they're starting to develop their own trading system uh, of gold, uh, not only other commodities and goods, but also of gold. And I can bet you that their exchanges are going to trade real physical gold in exchange for other physical commodities. It's not going to be like the COMEX, LBMA, Nexus of, uh, you know, highly leveraged, uh, you know, paper game where there's very little uh, exchange of physical gold. So, yeah, that's what's going on then. And... Uh, so as I leave here, gold is uh, twelve seventy five. So it's actually doing, in my opinion, fairly well. We're still comfortably above that twelve sixty sixty three support, and silver is holding above sixteen thirty as well. And that's why the Dow is up two twenty. So will the Dow hold on to its gains? I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, it'll be interesting to see. We still got quite a bit of time until the uh, official open in New York. Uh, I would say the main event this week, apart from next week, uh, which we where we have the FOMC meeting, will be the non-farm payroll job or the U.S. job data. Do I think those numbers reflect uh, U.S. economic reality? No, but the markets do react to it, and we need to keep an eye on it. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, share it, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And uh, you can also uh, follow me on uh, Twitter and on steamit.com. And if you'd like to uh, donate to the channel, there's some links below in the description. I'd like to thank all to all the people that have been donating to the channel. It helps. Thank you. Bye.